so in this video we will integrate navigation in react native and also react native for web so the first thing that we need to do is install react navigation so react navigation's latest version is 4.0 so that's what we are going to install so i have already copied a list of command that we need to run so basically what this is trying to do is it's trying to install react navigation using expo and which internally it is calling npm itself so you can ideally also install all of this using npm or yarn but the idea with expo is that expo would ideally check the version number of expo and see which which uh, library version would exactly fit the expo version that is installed in this project so it is safer and easier to use expo in this case and we are installing react navigation react native gesture handler react native reanimated which is for the animation effects and react native screens so let's just quickly install all of this and for the stack navigation we also need to install react navigation stack see internally it is just doing the same thing that I said earlier anyways uh, let's just quickly install react navigation stack uh, I'll also provide all these commands in the block that would be uh, whose link would be posted in the YouTube description section so please check that out as well cool so the next thing that we should be doing is to create a couple of screens and have the react navigation up and running so what I would do is I would just go ahead and create a few screens so in the screen folder let me just quickly create a few screens let's call it profile.js which won't do anything but will simply say that you know it's a profile screen so I've already written the code for it let me just quickly go through and tell you what exactly it does so here are the basic imports and over here uh, I'm basically displaying a text saying that this is a feed screen let's just rename this one or let's call it profile so it says that it's a profile screen and I'm adding a link adding a button which is navigating to the feed page on the click of profile so let me also just create a new page called feed so over here in the feed page as well is is displaying the similar content saying that it's a feed screen and on click of this button it would take it to the profile page so that's what it is doing here so these are just the screens and there is no navigation connected yet so we have to create a stack navigation for the same so let me go here and create a stack navigator of whose code I've also copied so just notice over here that we are copying uh, we are importing these two screens and over here we are saying that we want to create a stack navigator and stack navigator is imported from react navigation stack that's the last command that we ran right along with that it's, we are also passing some stack config options which says that header color should be this header style uh, you know have should have a background of black and so on so it's as simple as that now the stack navigator is set up what we need to do is to connect this navigator onto the app screen so what we would do is we would import uh, the navigation screens so this navigation the stack navigator uh, is imported here and we would simply put this here so essentially we are rendering this component and this component is nothing but a stack navigator and stack, navig stack navigator's job is to render one screen and then 
the other screens are kind of behind that screen once you click on that screen it takes you to the different screen and you can define the uh, screen properties in a different way so let's just try to run this one so this one is already running let me simply do i so i is a shortcut for launching the app in iOS simulator it says that it cannot reference height so somewhere i would have missed something and that's an app.js file so here we are saying that container height is height to 9 by 10 let's just remove it now it says that the navigation prop is missing for this navigator in react navigation 3 you must set up your app nav na app container directly so let me see what it is trying to do so this is the place where it is crying let me just check and see what we might be doing wrong okay so we missed one thing so create na create stack navigator is <coughs> excuse me create na stack navigator is something that you cannot directly uh, use as a component you have to first create a container like this which you can then use so let me just instead of exporting home we can export this container and let me import create app container from here and which should do the job So as you can see that the default screen is feed so if you're wondering how and where we are specifying the default screen so whichever screen comes on the top is a default screen and in fact there are options in which you can specify which screen should be on the top so if you just do like this the profile screen should be launched first and see how automatically it got refreshed and if you click on this one it would take you to the profile so the name over here is not correct I can just go ahead and change it it should say that if you like to go to the feed screen or not so if you click on feed screen it takes you to the profile screen it takes you to the feed screen and if you click on back or click on this button then it would take you back to the same screen so with this react navigation is set up in this project